Okay, now I have a place to put my tray so I can use both hands. It's going to be a lot easier now. Here we go. Okay, I'm getting into the little connection between the keel and the body. I'm getting some drips here, so I'm going to just make sure I, that those don't drip down on it because I can have a little excess material. It's no problem, no pattern you have to do. Just make sure you cover everything. And if you see a little drip excess, just roll over it. Now we can always come back and catch anything we miss because you'll never see it. It's a thin enough product where you'll never see it. So, and as it dries, it's darker in spots and lighter in spots, but once the alcohol goes out of it, there'll be, you won't see any differences at all. Everything will blend together. Now I could go a little faster if I just poured the tray full, but you'll see as I get to the end, it might get a little stringy. I might add a little alcohol, but I'm moving fast enough where it's probably not going to be any issue. Okay, one of the reasons the opacity is so good on this is we're actually looking at metal. So there's no pigment in this. This is actual copper grains we see. So the reason we can't see any blue or anything else is because we're looking at copper itself. Hope you notice there's very little dripping. And uh, that's why I don't worry about Asking off the ground or it might float a little bit. Now on these I'm going to get some on no matter what, but they're just rubber and uh, this will break off the rubber over time if I want to get it off, but I, I really don't care. And so I'm going to have a couple square inches without boat bottom paint on when these come off and I could catch that as we put it into the water or I can let it go and next year set my boat on a little different angle and catch it next year.